the history of film itself is actually pretty interesting. See, the term film was actually used to describe a specific technology, a thin flexible material coated in light sensitive emulation that retains an image after it's exposed to light. Wait, Mike, that's not what I was supposed to be talking about. It actually started out as a collection of still images viewed one after another in rapid succession, which then creates an illusion of motion. And soon then, photography came along. After being a little experimental, humans decided, hey, let's start telling narratives with this. And they did. After years progressed and the technology got better, it was taken seriously as a form of expression in art. It quickly developed into business. And soon, some of the most well-known films were starting to be made. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Dracula, Wizard of Oz, Citizen Kane, people had stories to tell. And because of the stories, we then got investments of popular culture that still go on until this day. Godfather, Star Wars, Rocky, Forrest Gump, Titanic. General audiences seem to have attached to these things pretty quickly. But then the business part of it took over. But how was it all done? There are several stages of production involved in filmmaking, starting us off as development. Usually in this stage, ideas are passed around. If it's an adaptation involved, rights to books or films are brought. Things like novels, graphic novels, or comic books? Obviously, it doesn't directly have to be those things. There's of course aspiring filmmakers out there with plenty of original ideas. <laughs> After laying out the plot, they develop a synopsis, giving a brief description of what the film is about. After that, a treatment is prepared, a description of the story and the characters in the world that it's established, along the lines of a screenplay but with very little dialogue and stage direction and more of descriptive actions. Soon after, the actual screenplay is done. This is done over a period of several months. The first draft is usually expected to be written in the first six to eight weeks of production. Then afterwards, the writer can revise and rewrite it in order for it to make sense and all be comprehensive. A thing a certain film didn't have the time to do, apparently. Then the producer and screenwriter pitch it to potential financers, along with actors and directors they feel fit the job. The idea is good enough, it gets pitched to a major film studio. Then on a pre-production, where the film is carefully designed and planned, the financers usually call for a production office. That's where first the film would be pre-visualized by the director along with concept artists and illustrators by way of storyboards. Then a production budget is drawn up. If it's a major studio, then insurance is applied. Then comes in the crew, which in a major studio would call for a crew of hundreds, but independent production could call for a crew as small as eight or nine or more ah come on they get the idea and then production starts this is usually the portion of the process where they start shooting the film you've probably seen this part be done they get the cameras out they get the sound ready they get all this other stuff act to get in front of the camera and of course act out the scene a general audience member would see the finished product and wouldn't have a second thought to go into the behind the scenes production between takes they might have the actors go over their lines and while the scene is going on they're usually preparing for the next one Next is the very important aspect of post-production. Here is where the principal photography is put together by the film's editor. Audio mixing, sound effects, composed score along with maybe licensed songs, and usually when a blockbuster is out all the visual effects are added in, mostly using computer graphics also known as CGI. And if it's a smaller scale film, only small scale things might be done. Keyframing TVs, usually occupied by green screens and taken up in said post-production process. Every single aspect I've said is mixed into stems and then all put together is a marriage process. The final stage being distribution. This is where films are either put out in cinemas or on straight to DVD. Because let's face the fact, not every film is gonna stay under the par and be competent enough to go into theaters. Advertising goes into play, usually consisting of trailers, movie posters, press kits, and other advertising materials. Then is the red carpet premiere, following along with press releases, interviews, and press screenings. And for more independent films, film festivals. These being a special case because they only have select screenings in certain cities, and then months after release to the public. Most recent example I can provide is one of my favorite films of last year, Good Time. After the film is widely released, it gets its box office, either it makes the money back of its budget or it's doesn't. There is so much more involved in this industry that I don't have the time to explain, but I hope you at least get the gist of it. 